today, guys, we have some potatoes that were going bad. And this is what's left. I'm going to be cutting them into French fries, blanching them, and sticking them in the freezer. That way I can just pull them out, stick them in the oven, uh, bake them, and we'll be set. Just a second, I'll get you turned around and so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Now, I'm picky when it comes to, well, some of the skins. These potatoes got pretty thick skin, so I'm going to go ahead and peel them. But the peelings, I will give to the chickens, so they won't go to waste. But, I've been needing to get this done for a while now, and uh, just haven't had time. So, the last couple days, this is what I've been working on. I've done some uh, all little squares of potatoes, so I can just pop them in the oven too. And they're already in the bags in the freezers. I'll show you them here in just a bit. My chickens love potato peels. Here soon though, here in about a week, some of our chickens are gonna be going to the freezer. We got these type of chickens so that instead of like the meat chickens, at a certain age you have to, uh, put them in the freezer. This way here, if we decide, well, we just can't get to doing them right away or whatnot, it's not that big of a deal. So, we got these ones. They lay eggs. They're a uh, dual purpose, I guess, can be used for meat or eggs. So, and then if we only get to do a few of them, then later on in the year we can do some more that don't have to be done right then. So that is really nice. Okay, hold on just a second. It's going to get loud here for a second. Okay, had to rinse the potatoes. So for now, you can't see nothing. Well, you really couldn't see nothing before either, but... I don't have a fancy slicer for potatoes, so I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. He's a little thick. Cut him in half. But at least this way, we can have french fries again. We haven't had any, and I hate buying the ones from the store. See? Season them up, throw them in the oven. Bake them. There. Okay, now I'm going to put them in water. Keep them until 
I get the rest of these cut up and ready to blanch. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. As you can see, oh, that's hot. Uh, I've got it up to a boil. I've got my potatoes in water. Now I'll take them from here, put them in here for about two to three minutes. That should be plenty to blanch them. Ooh, a little close. Then once you put them in, kind of hard videotaping and doing this. Um, once your water comes back up to a boil, that is when you start your timer. Okay, I think that's enough for now. We'll put the lid back on it, let it come back up to a boil, and then I'll start my timer. We'll be back when we start to get them out. Okay, my timer went off. I've got cold water right there. I'm gonna get the potatoes out, put them into the cold water so they'll stop the cooking process. Let them cool down. And I'll put them in a strainer, let them set for a few, so they'll get most of the water off, and then I will be putting them into bags. Right now, I've just been using quart size bags. So it's just me and my husband, so. We don't need a whole lot. Hope you guys can see this. I have really got to figure out a better way to hold my phone. Oh, I think I felt another one. Yep, I did. Let's see. Uh, there's a few stragglers in there. Okay. They're in the cold water now. Let them cool down, then I start the process all over again. Now they're all strained, been setting for a few minutes, then I'll put them into these baggies. I've got them marked, and uh, then we'll get them in the freezer and then do the rest. Just a second, I'll get you turned around. Okay, let's get them in these bags. I just hope they'll fit lengthwise. Well, these ones do. As long as I don't have too long of potatoes, they will fit. Now 
also do this with squash. Except for I don't blanch it. I bake it. Can, uh, get it all baked up. Then I squish it up. Put it in a baggie. And put it in the freezer. When, uh, I'll show you that too. When me and my husband want some squash, I don't have to worry about, oh, I gotta take time to cook it and everything else. Uh, I'm trying to decide how much I wanna put in here. Um, I can just take it out of the freezer and put it in a pan, heat it up. Good to go. I don't know. This is the first time I've done this. So, I don't know how much we're going to eat. This seems like a lot, but... I have no idea. We will see. And I know these ones ain't freezer bags, but as soon as these freeze, there. As soon as they freeze, I'll put them into a uh, gallon size freezer bag. Okay, excuse my freezer. These are the other ones that I did. I've got three that size and one a little thinner. Now, here's the squash that I did. Same thing. Cooked it up, squished it, put it in a bag. It is so nice. Now, I'll put these in the freezer and let them freeze. And then once all this is done and froze, I will take them out and put them in the big freezer. There we go. Ended up with five bags. Not too bad. Then the three of those, well, four. So not bad. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.